We have made it to the shipper. Made it to the shipper. We've been up driving since what, 3 a.m. No one is here, it's a Saturday, so everybody off. <laughs> we get the door 21. I checked in up there because the address just says up there, man, they, well, people just so rude, man. And she probably mad she here on a Saturday, so. <laughs> I'm so understanding, man. We're gonna be in door 21. Good morning. Good morning, girl. Look at that. Look at that. Get your food. Get your friends your food. Friends your food. Finish that food. Good morning. She hungry as hell. Going to pick up my next load. Chicago. Uh, I got sent my reefer to like, negative fifteen. Gotta go negative 15. Let's go, baby. Hurry up, hurry up. But yeah, it's a good company, too. You know, you're just starting. They everywhere, too. Like, they got some reason in Louisiana. Like, this company, Louisiana, they on the West Coast. Like, they everywhere, you know. And I had a cousin that used to work for them, also. So, good company, way here. All right, negative 15. we got <laughs> it'll be something quicker negative 15 all right we set jack we are set jack let's go make sure no alarms coming on got the green light i mean we can go let's go we'll get there 11 28 supposed to be there for two o'clock i like the sign of that like my dad always say, I know you right. <laughs> I know you right. Let's go, baby. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. Look at this, man. You can't, you can't beat this, man. It's just beautiful. The sun shining. You can't beat this, man. That's why I love being on the road. Sometimes, you know, it has to rain sometimes. Just like in life, it has to rain sometimes. But... When that sun popping, it's popping, dog. It's popping, son. Let's go. <laughs> and I know other truck drivers are gonna feel me when I say this. Do y'all have that like that little nervous feeling in your stomach before you get to a place? Cause like, I hope you don't miss it. Damn binder fell on my head. Let me park in the middle and pick this shit up. But you ever get that nervous feeling in your um in your stomach before you get to a place? Cause you hope you don't miss your turn. Like you just hope you don't like mess up 
and pass it up or hit the wrong turn, man, that feeling never go away. I don't care how long you drive. That feeling never goes away, man. It stays. <laughs> so once you get that first load off, you're like, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. say Illinois is, is beautiful in the summertime spring and summer man like to us from the south you come up here it's not hot to them it might be hot but to us like this is this is perfect weather man look at this look at this look at this if you had a house by this what would you do how would you wake up in the morning how would you wake up in the morning Let me move back. Hey, <laughs> damn, damn alligator come out. It's, it's over. Look at that. Probably gonna be here for a while. They loading up some ice cream, so. Look at that, man. Damn, this is beautiful. Let's go get to a truck stop, take a good shower. Then the day is over. Then we got to start Sunday. I love Sunday. Sundays is my favorite days to drive. My favorite days to drive. 
Look at this, man. snacks this week <laughs> yeah we good we got grapes we got grapes today I do want a hat though I do want another hat we gonna wait we gonna wait away from delivery place man uh i'm about to eat my delivery is at uh midnight i'm about to eat chill uh but i wanted to say one thing before i leave man uh, make sure you got your affirmations and stuff like that before the week start you know before the to me sunday is like the most important part of the uh of the of the whole week that's the most important day you know so get your affirmations right get, get everything in order for a week ahead man especially especially with trucking man like you stay on top of your game so your dispatcher can't uh pull no fastest on you so the company can't pull no fastest on you you count your money 
you uh trip playing your stuff you do everything so they can't get over on you that's that's very important so i'm telling you and this way anybody anything once they figure they can get over on you they gonna keep getting over on you and i'm gonna talk about matter of fact let me talk about that right now as a truck driver new and old don't come do not be desperate in this game always if, when you changing jobs always have money always have some money on you so before you quit a job always make sure you have at least i'm gonna say at least seven eight hundred dollars on you minimum make sure you have that on you because you never know like you just never know because once these companies and these jobs uh that's for any job too once they see they once they see you desperate once they see you need them i'm telling you it's a wrap i, bro, I promise you i've been through that before i've been through that before and i'm gonna tell y'all that story another day but i've been through that before when uh they try to use you they try to you know that they know you need them so they try to make you do whatever you know whatever all kind of crazy shit you know so in this trucking game bro do not be desperate always have money saved up so when somebody playing with your money if a job playing with your money are they trying to make you do some bogus shit you can just hey i gotta go i can get my plane ticket i can get a bus ticket i can go and that's what any job anybody bro always have your own i was watching this uh i forgot what i was watching damn who the woman was she a podcast i think she's from africa or something though and she was saying she was telling men, she was like, uh, man, like always have your own place. Even if you live with a woman, still have your own place. You know, still have your own place that you can call home. I'm telling you, bro. Because once people see that you need them, it's a wrap. Especially in the trucking game, bro. So don't don't come in this game desperate. Before you go to truck driving school, man, I don't give a <laughs> I don't give a damn. Go to McDonald's, go to Taco Bell, go anywhere. Uh, drive Uber till you stack up at least eight hundred to a thousand dollars, bro, in your pocket. You know, just in case. Don't let nobody disrespect you, bro. I'm telling you, man. And when I was younger, it, it happened to me. But as you become older, you like, man, I don't even try that. <laughs> you start laughing at people when they do it. You know, so in this game, bro, in life, I don't care what you do always have your back always be patient i'm telling you it's, it's all about patience because nine times out of ten bro the reason why we be desperate in certain situations is because we be rushing you be rushing to get to this rushing to get your cd hey stack you up a thousand dollars you know get you some bread meat peanut butter yeah until you get on stay down till you come up i'm staying down till i come up <laughs> so y'all will see the same shirts y'all will see yeah this the grind man and you got to fall in love with that part of life you got to fall in love with that part of life bro you know be disciplined you know and it, it took me a long time i'm telling you it took me a long time to understand that shit and i'm not perfect but i did i did understand people will take advantage of you when you see when, when they see you need them when they see you need this job they'll take advantage of you so never go on a job desperate man you, you, you want to go on a job with money in your pocket i don't care i don't care what it is you do not just trucking anything go with money in your pocket it, it don't matter because motherfuckers will try to take advantage of you if you let them you know so i'm out man uh i got delivery due later on i'm about to eat Y'all be cool, man. Have a good week. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.